Tonight, after nearly 28 years in prison, Lamar Johnson is a free man. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. A judge threw out Johnson's murder conviction from 1995. Our Laura Barcheski is live outside the courthouse tonight. She sat down with the special prosecutor to talk about this historic case. Laura. Mike and Ann, there wasn't a dry eye in this courthouse today as Lamar Johnson stepped out into downtown St. Louis, taking his first steps as a free man. His family is now so happy he's finally home. The conviction of Lamar Johnson and State v. Lamar Johnson calls 22-941-37068. Sure 49 year old Lamar Johnson spent half of his life in prison for the murder of Marcus Boyd. For nearly 30 years, he has maintained his innocence. We showed that the city of St. Louis and the state of Missouri is about justice and not defending the finality of a conviction. Special Prosecutor Jonathan Potts says they spent a year investigating this case before filing a motion in August of last year to get the conviction thrown out. We actually brought the true murderer out and he confessed in the open courtroom and admitted that he and not Lamar Johnson had actually killed the victim. Do you think the justice system truly wronged him in this case? It absolutely did. This case, you know, on one level is about Lamar and it's about making sure that an innocent person doesn't spend the rest of their life in prison. But it's also about the justice system being accountable for its own mistakes. Activist Reverend Daryl Gray says this is truly liberating. I told him that he is the answer to someone's prayer. Gray says this is encouraging and gives him hope for all of the other innocent incarcerated people. This shows that that the legislation can work, that the process can work, that justice can work if you apply it fairly. As Johnson walked out of the holding area a free man, he thanked Circuit Court Judge David Mason, his attorneys, and everyone fighting for his freedom. All of the people who came out and supported me and His family was overwhelmed and so happy to have him home. He's now going to be able to have those relationships that he's been putting off for the past 28 years of his life. And like you said, in April, I think he's gonna be able to walk his daughter down the aisle. Johnson shared these last few words before riding off jail, to start his life over again. Just, I'm glad to be free. Nope. <laughs> Johnson's attorneys say they don't know quite what's next for him, but he's gonna start by finding a stable place to live to rebuild his life. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, Laura Barcheski, Five on Your Side.